All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to take apart and put a CV Tech clutch uh, back together. This is a CV Tech clutch completely taken apart. This is all the pieces, the inner half. That's the inner fixed sheave, an outer movable sheave, a one-way bearing assembly. This is your fixed plate, uh, your, your sliders, your spring, and whatnot. We'll start from the basics. This is the way the inner, inner sheave looks. You have a hex that is machined into the shaft, and the shaft is also threaded. This shaft carries its one-way bearing. To install the one-way bearing, you need to notice that you have little fingers in there. These are the, the, the sprag teeth. They are spring-loaded, and they are pushing outward because they're spring-loaded. They're, they're trying to push towards the center. In order to make these teeth go over this shaft, you have to push each one individually one at a time. Now, you slide this bearing down. You see it stops. Well, it's got the, the teeth that are holding it in. So what you do is, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but each one of these teeth, you have to go in and push them back. Just take your little flathead screwdriver, you push each tooth back one at a time. You work your, you work your way all the way around. You'll see one or two teeth are, are, are pressed out here and there. Once you press all these teeth around, Keep twisting the bearing around. One tooth back, another tooth back, and then that bearing falls on on its own. Now this is a one-way bearing, meaning it'll only go in one direction. This bearing is spinning clockwise, which means this clutch will spin counterclockwise, such as most Polaris ATVs. Uh, and Can-Am ATVs will spin this direction. Now this allows the belt to sit in the clutch and the belt be stationary while the bearing spins or the clutch spins underneath the bearing. Now if you've taken your machine apart and or your clutch apart and you accidentally pull the one-way bearing off and it's on the wrong direction. Let's say uh, you have a Polaris 850 and where the bearing needs to spin the opposite direction or some Polaris's, uh, Arctic Cat, Suzuki's, and Yamaha's all spin the opposite direction of the Can-Am. So this direction is normal for a Can-Am, meaning the clutch is stationary, the bearing will spin clockwise. Well, on some machines, it needs to go the opposite direction. So what you do is you flip the bearing over 180 degrees and you reinstall it. Now you have a clutch that the clutch will now spin clockwise and when the clutch is stationary the bearing will spin counterclockwise. It's that easy to turn a one-way bearing over. Now the way this one is spinning it would be an Arctic Cat, a Suzuki, a Yamaha or a Polaris 850. They all would spin this direction. Either way, it doesn't matter if you if you if you have it off and, and accidentally install it the wrong direction. You just flip it over and reinstall it. But let's go on from here. Now that your one-way bearing is on, you, your inner fixed sheath, you now have you now have the sleeve for your spring. It will go on, and then your spring will go on. The inner half, I mean, the inner half of your clutch is now complete, and the outer half will now slide on. If you notice, this bushing inside the movable sheave is made to slide up and down over the bearing and uh, and your spring seat. As you can see, with the spring off, the clutch will slide up and down. Install your spring. Now the clutch is ready to be assembled. 
you have the inner and outer half of your clutch on and inside the outer movable sheave are the valleys for your sliders. You will install them one at a time and if you'll notice these have little ears on the side where they can only go in one direction. They cannot go upside down. The ears will not let them fall down in the valleys. Now this slider is rounded on the bottom to allow it to slide smoothly in, in, the, in, the, uh, in the roller valleys and it is machined flat on top to mate to the fixed plate which has uh, machined valleys in it as well for this this slider puck to slide back and forth. Now you install all six of your weights in the clutch and if you'll notice when you spin this clutch they'll all they'll all fly outward. That's the centrifugal force how it pulls them out which is you harness that when you put this cover on, be sure this cover has a hex in it. Always remember this hex has to lock together with the hex on this shaft to hold the clutch together. If you do not install this clutch right, it will cause uh, some negative effects. So once the clutch is together, you have your nut that goes on the outer half. This shaft is threaded this nut obviously will thread down. Well first you have to push the clutch together. You push down, it's got a little bit of spring tension, and you twist the clutch to find where it locks. There, now it's locked. Now the outer half of the clutch can cannot spin independently of the inner half. They are locked together. You would then tighten the nut up and the clutch is, is fairly well assembled. Now, when assembling these clutches, I use a 243 blue Loctite. It is a vibration and oil resistant medium set Loctite. I typically put one dab on the inside of the nut. I will push the clutch together. I will push the, you push down and you twist until it locks now it, the, the hex is set, I'll apply some blue Loctite. I typically will twist the nut down and then I'll torque this nut to about 35 foot pounds. That's about the amount of torque that I typically put on one of these clutches. And I, I don't have any problems with them coming apart. Now if you hold a large half inch impact wrench on that nut for a sustained period of time you do run the risk of breaking this shaft so I wouldn't get crazy and too happy with it just a little bit of torque is all it takes 35 foot pounds is what we're supposed to put on it for you that don't have a torque wrench well about three good licks is about what I put now we, we take it back apart starting all over from the beginning you take it apart you've got your nut you take off your outer half of your clutch will then come off you can set the clutch upside down and the fixed plate will fall out it will hold all of the all of the sliders your outer movable sheave and again you have your spring you got your spring hat you've got your one-way bearing and that's that's how it all goes together